What's going on, everyone? This episode of Sinful Delights, rocking out an old classic, American goulash, but this one has got a Texas twist on it, because this is Texas venison Italian sausage going in there with that ground sirloin. So we're going to go ahead, saute this down, get a little bit of color on that meat, because color equals flavor. Just go in there, chop that meat up, brown it up. A little bit of beer in there. Stir that meat up. Smelling good. If you're not into deer meat, you need to get yourself some. Because it is fantastic. Keep stirring. Bada bing. Now the vegetation. I got red onions, sweet onions, bell peppers. Gonna want to go in here. You're gonna want to sweat these down. Wonderful system for doing the garlic. He used a razor and he used to slice it so thin that it used to liquefy in the pan with just a little oil. It's a very good system. That's how we did the garlic. Just like good fellas. Gotta show respect. Now stir that garlic in there, and it's almost gonna liquefy in there. You don't even taste. You don't even have the big chunks of garlic when it's done. Beautiful. Now it's time to season. Don't under season. You know, and then with my recipes, there's no amount of seasoning that I put. It's all the taste. However you like it, you make it because it's your recipe. This is like the building block of greatness. Bada bing, that's a little salt bay right there. In case you didn't know. Stir all those seasonings in. It's steaming hard right now. Gotta taste. Tastes pretty good. Needs a little time though. See, we're always adjusting the seasoning. You can always adjust, add more, but you can never take out. Now I got them San Marzano's in a can. Hand crushed, dump them on in there. Stir it up. Everything's going to come together now. We're incorporating. Now, a little bit of chicken base. Put that in there. Top it off with a little water. Stir it together. You want a little bit of liquid because we're going to be throwing noodles in there. A little bit of that W sauce. Love the Worcester sauce. Got to get the Liam Perrins. Now, a little acidic with those tomatoes. So we're going to rock out with a little brown sugar. Love the brown sugar because it does have molasses in there. I make my own. Couple of scoops. Got to have more beer. This one, pretty quick. This is a one to two beer operation. Because you got that pan smoking hot. There ain't no fucking around. Bay leaves. Couple of bay leaves in here. They got amazing earthy flavor. Stir those in. Now, turn the heat up, taste a little, re-season if you gotta. I want a little bit more pepper, a little bit more paprika. I know a lot of times with American goulash, they're not adding the paprika in, but we gotta pay homage to it, you know, in respect to where it came from. Stir it up. Taste. Now it's good. Ready. Adding those elbow macaroni in. I always do a little bit at a time. Get them stirred in. Make sure they're all nice. Everybody's happy in the pan. Pot. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's room for more. Throw a little more in. That's the whole box. Cover it. Let it low simmer. 
Once those noodles, I shut it off when those noodles are about halfway done. I'm taking it out a little bit early because I want that bowl. I'm a little bit hungry. But normally I let that sit for a little while, soak up all those juices, drop it in the bowl. You're ready to eat. Put that off the burner. Grab yourself a spoon. Fruits of the labor here. Looks a little hot. Till next time, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you're rocking out making some great food at home. Take care.